Close your eyes, watch your breath. If you're going to think about anything, think about the breath. Other thoughts you can let go of right now. It's not that thinking is bad. Sometimes we think meditation is all about not having any thoughts at all. But to get the mind to settle down, you have to think about it. And one of the reasons we get it to settle down so that it stops thinking is so that when it starts thinking again, you can see your thoughts with new eyes. So think about the breath, think about how making the breath comfortable would be an interesting project right now. And then look at what you can do. Try to figure out what's wrong with the breathing, that you can't settle down when things are right. Think about how you stay there. So there's thinking going on. When the mind really settles in and gets really deep into concentration, okay, then the thoughts get more and more attenuated. But for the time being, you learn how to think about right now. Think about what you can do right now to get the mind to settle down into a good relationship with the breath. Because the mind does need to rest. If you use it all the time, it's like a knife that you don't sharpen. You just use it, use it, use it, and after a while it gets dull. And it takes a lot of strength to cut through things. But if you take time to sharpen it, okay, then the next time you cut, just one chop, and there you are. It's the same with the mind. If the mind gets to rest, then it comes out and it can think a lot more clearly. And it can also notice its thoughts a lot more clearly, too. What's coming up in the mind? Is it something you really want to go with or not? All too often, we're like a person standing on the side of the road. Someone comes by on a motorcycle, and we just hop right on. We don't ask, who are you? Are you a hell's angel? But you know, Delivery boy, when are you, who are you? Where are you going to take me? You just go with whatever thought comes up. And it happens that some of our thoughts really are hell's angels. So you've got to put the mind in a position where it can say, no, you're standing by the side of the road and you're comfortable where you are already. Then when someone comes up, you can get into a real conversation about, is this a good place to go? Is this a good person to go with? In other words, you realize that some of your thoughts really are useful, and you can spend your time thinking those thoughts rather than thinking whatever's going to take you anywhere at all. Then when the thoughts are completed, then you can come back to this point of being rested. Make this your default position here in the present moment. As the Buddha said, when you develop the skill, then you can think the thoughts that are useful, and then you don't have to think any thoughts that are not useful. Think thoughts that lead to true happiness. You can stop thinking thoughts that lead to suffering. You have more control over what's going on in your mind. You get better at thinking because you learn how to stop thinking. When you think really well, it helps the mind settle back down again, too. The two skills go together. So make sure that you work on them together, and you find that your thinking becomes really useful. Sometimes you hear that people saying, well, thinking is suffering. No, thinking is not suffering. Clinging is suffering. But there's skillful thinking and there's unskillful thinking. And part of the skill of thinking is learning how to stop thinking for times, so you can see your thinking with fresh eyes. <laughs>